from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. A very real danger you could face someday, kitchen fires. We're going to show you how to prevent the most dangerous kind of fire, the one that starts in your kitchen. That's right after this. 41 after the hour. Now, most fires in homes actually begin in the kitchen, and they lead to most of the injuries as well. Mary Kay Oppie, president of the Home Safety Council, is at the Montgomery County Fire and Rescue Training Academy in Rockville, Maryland, to show you how to protect yourself and your family. Mary Kay, good morning. Good to see you again. Good morning, David. Nice to be back. Yes, cooking is the number one cause of home fires. Today, we're going to show you a demonstration of what can happen the minute your back is turned. The biggest problem is that people put something on the stove and then they leave it, especially a problem when you're frying. So we're really talking about more human error being one of the major causes of these fires. Absolutely. People make big mistakes. We'll be starting this fire. You'll see how fast it can grow and spread. Often people make a really bad decision to try to move the pan outside or try to put water on it. That can really cause terrible, terrible injuries. We're looking at, we're, we're looking this, at this conflagration that you get. In, again, you've got oil in a pan. You've got very hot temperatures. So it's not a surprise uh -huh. that it could go up so quickly. Absolutely. Combustible items around. And people, as I say, can make a really bad mistake and try to move that pan. Earlier this morning, David, we did a little demonstration with Montgomery County. And firefighter Donnie Boyd actually is going to show your viewers what you could do to safely extinguish a fire like this on the top of your stove. All right. As we, as we look at that, people might think if you've got a fire extinguisher nearby, use that. But you say that's not always the best idea. No, Home Safety Council doesn't recommend that because a dry pressure fire extinguisher, the stuff comes out so, so powerfully, it can actually tip that pan and spread the burning grease. The safest thing to do is to slide a lid on the pan fire. And in this case, you would carefully put on oven mitts. We, we did a demonstration of this this morning. Uh, you'd put on oven mitts. You'd grab the lid, or in this case, a cookie sheet, and slide the lid right over the pan. And you want to keep the lid in place, because if you open it up again, air gets back in, that fire can reignite. Keep the lid in place and turn off the burner. All right, let's talk about fires elsewhere in, in a microwave, a toaster oven is also common, or mm -hmm. your larger oven. How would you handle that? Well, in this case, you want to keep the door closed, keep the door to the microwave or oven closed. We saw what happens when you put more oxygen in, that fire just grows again. Keep it closed, get everybody outside, call the fire department and let them handle it. You know, something that comes to mind in terms of how I behave in my, my own kitchen, there's also other things. I, I mean, I see that oven mitt there, but there could be newspapers or kids' projects or bills or other things that you keep probably too close to your burners as well that can become, can become fuel. Absolutely, David. You know, this fire that we're seeing now, it's just growing so quickly. And often it's because there are combustible items around our stove. We might have a dirty stove with grease buildup. Right. Any of that can contribute to a really bad fire, such as we're seeing right now. All right, here. now, so we're looking at this live. Again, this is just a demonstration. And yeah, you've got that reminder board up there, which is going up in flames. Do you recommend smoke detectors or sprinklers in a kitchen? Absolutely have smoke alarms throughout your home, but we don't recommend them in the kitchen because normal cooking can actually cause nuisance alarms. Sprinklers, on the other hand, which are the ultimate in fire safety, can put a little bit of water on that fire, control the fire as you're getting everyone to safety and calling the fire department from outside. Again, important to point out we're watching a demonstration of a kitchen fire now and how quickly yeah, it can go up fast. as we're watching. You've got to, we, we want to remind everybody watching what some of the important tips are uh, when we're talking about how to prevent these kinds of fires and, and respond to them. We'll put them up on the screen. Uh, and take us through these now, starting with staying in the kitchen. That's the most important thing. Unattended cooking is the biggest problem, especially when you're frying. Stand by your pan, as I think Tammy Wynette used to say. <laughs> right. also, 
prepare for cooking, roll up your sleeves, use oven mitts, clear a nice surface all like three feet around that cooking area away from the burners. Prepare in advance by having your lid or a cookie sheet right nearby along with those oven mitts so that if you did have a fire, you could slide a lid on it and turn off the burner. But if you're doubtful that you can do it or if that fire doesn't go out immediately, just get right outside and call 911 and let the professionals handle it. Right, and that's kind of this threshold question, right? I mean, how big is a fire that you think you can actually handle yourself versus stepping away and letting the pros come in? Absolutely. Great, great question. You don't want that fire to have gotten at all beyond the pan. If it's already catching the curtains on fire or anything else, it's already too big and you need the fire department. Right, particularly Just if you look at that fire. Right, right and if you've got little ones around, particularly, you don't want to you don't want to mess around with that. You want to make sure you're securing your family. If you right. have people in your home, especially little ones, yes, concentrate on getting folks to safety first. That, that's really very important. All right. Very useful information with the demonstration this morning, as always. Mary Kay Oppie, thank you very much. Thank you.